founded in 2007 with a mission to help people overcome challenges by spreading a positive message through speaker series, hospital care packages, adaptive sports, and an initiative for spinal cord injury awareness. The Life Goes On Foundation is making change in the world as we speak. Joining us now is the executive director and founder of the foundation, Arthur Renowitzki. Art, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. No, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Happy to be here and happy to spread our mission and what we do in the Bay. Now, before we get into what li the Life Goes On Foundation is, mm -hmm. what is your story and how did it inspire you to create this foundation? Yeah, so um, I grew up able-bodied uh, my entire life until I was 20 years old. Grew up playing sports. I was really passionate about basketball, football, track and field. Um, any sports, my parents were super supportive and, you know, would um, take us to our practices, be really supportive. Um, while I was in college my sophomore year, I just turned 20 um, and, December 2nd of 2007, my entire world changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I was at a dance club in San Francisco, and I was coming um, out, of the, out of the nightclub a little bit. Um, after my, uh, I came out the nightclub, made a right down the street, and was about to leave, and out of nowhere, random, a stranger ran up, shot me, stole my wallet, which only had 20 bucks in it, um, and ran off, and the bullet went through my chest, went through both of my lungs, um, shattering my spinal cord, and um, I instantly hit the ground, and when I hit the ground, it was like, it was like a fish out of water, almost. Um, I couldn't breathe. Um, and I couldn't get up and, and get help. But thankfully, paramedics uh, here in San Francisco were amazing. They took me to San Francisco General Hospital, um, where I ended up going into a coma. Um, I woke up, woke up December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve. Um, and that's when the doctors told me that I had a spinal cord injury. And pretty much there was a chance um, I wasn't going to be able to walk or talk again. I had a trach in my neck. Um, and I couldn't speak for a long time. Uh, thankfully, I did get my voice back. and. Once I got my voice back, I felt empowered to speak out against census gun violence, mm -hmm. um, to work with um, our youth um, to become new leaders uh, in the Bay Area and, 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 and beyond, and also to help those with spinal cord injuries um, to overcome it. Um, I found wheelchair basketball as well to be amazing in my healing process, and um, I've been playing ever since, and now I'm a member of the Golden State Road Warriors wheelchair basketball team as well. Wow, such an incredible story and inspiring, to say the very mm -hmm. least, that you overcame so many obstacles, and here you are. It led you to create the Life Goes On Foundation. For those who may not know what it's all about, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, Life Goes On is meaningful to me, it's something I um, have a huge passion for every single day, every time I wake up. Um, our mission is to end census gun violence, um, to work with those with spinal cord injuries and disability awareness, mm -hmm. um, and also to uplift our younger generation. Uh, we have an amazing program called um, the Teen Leadership Program with our foundation, uh, where we bring out, you know, uh, teens um, to speak about different topics uh, with professionals and, you know, uplift them to, you know, know the mission, know what we're about, but also to promote them to, to go to school, to go to college, and just to be amazing leaders in our community. And we also do have an adaptive uh, sports program where we gift um, Performax specialized sports chairs to, you know, kids in the inner city or wherever that are here and want to play, but just need that opportunity to play and have the opportunity to play sports. Um, you know, adaptive sports is a tough thing to get into if you don't have the resources or support. So we want to provide, you know, that um, that chance to be able to play sports. And I think through sport, it's you can create amazing relationships, friendships, team camaraderie, um, leadership skills, and it just makes you as an independent um, young man or young lady to, to be able to be the best that you can be. So. so your organization is doing some amazing things within the youth, making so much change in this yeah. community. Now, you, you mentioned the Warriors. Mm -hmm. So how have you partnered with them, and how has that helped the foundation as well? Um, yeah, so working with the Golden State Warriors uh, has been amazing throughout the years. Um, we've teamed up with folks like Stephen Curry, um, KD when he was here, um, various Warriors throughout the years that have supported us. Um, we actually have um, a board member on our team, Britt Burkett, who works with the Warriors Community Foundation and is amazing. Um, we just held an appreciation night event recently. Uh, at the Warriors practice, the former practice facility in Oakland. It was amazing. Uh, we gifted actually a young man, Jorge Macias, mm -hmm. a brand new sports chair. 
And it was just a really feel-good moment to have, like, our board of directors imagine, there, yeah. volunteers, uh, ambassadors, supporters, and um, just love the organization, what they do. Um, love how they support us uh, with our wheelchair basketball team, uh, with our foundation, and the other amazing nonprofits that they partner with throughout the Bay Area. So now that you have so much support within the community and you're making all of, all of this impact on mm. so many children's lives within the community, what is in the future for the Life Goes On Foundation? Yeah, um, in the future. So we have some amazing events coming up um, that I'd love for people to join and, and be a part of. Um, one event, we have a fall mixer coming up in Oakland on October 5th. Um, John Bliss and Kim Thompson, who are amazing uh, community leaders in Oakland, we're doing a big event there at their home, but also we're doing an event in uh, December 15th, which is our annual LGLF Gala. Um, it's been amazing. We do it every year in December because it's around that time where the idea of the foundation started when I woke up out of a coma. So it's it's a meaningful event. Um, like I said, we've had past guests there for, like Steph Curry and um, other amazing public figures in the community where we honor um, you know, our volunteer of the year, our, you know, um, community leader of the year, and people that are doing amazing things. So um, just happy for that event every year because it's just like it's it's an emotional way for me because it's yeah um you know my, around the time of my injury so it's it's really heartfelt to see everybody come together and get behind our mission from a, a foundation that started really um in that hospital room um having that idea getting my voice back but now to see it um into what it is today it's it's been a remarkable journey to say the least well I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that one final question for you here are what has it meant to you to see all of the work that you've done that has inspired so many and made a difference in this world uh it's 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 amazing to look back and just to see how far i've come um you know, from 20 years of living, you know, walking around this earth, playing sports and whatnot, to one day you wake up and um, the doctor tells you, you know, you may never walk or talk again. It's, it's an amazing journey because, you know, I, at one point I did have doubts, you know, I did um, face hard times, depression, where I felt like, you know, life was over. And, you know, my disability is visible and I know a lot of people, you know, go through things in life where it's not visible but they're still having to persevere and push forward and that's really what the mission is about you know um it doesn't ha only have to be somebody that's going through a spinal cord injury or paralysis or disability uh, there's so many things that people go through trauma um, especially with gun violence it has mm -hmm. a huge impact especially you know in the bay area and across the country so that's the reason why it was all created and started and you know to help um the young man like jorge macias who was you know 17 years old leaving a party and was you know just in the wrong place the wrong time shot and paralyzed but now to see him be an ambassador of the foundation you know working two jobs becoming an adaptive athlete and we're able to gift him a sports chair it's just like those type of moments mean so much to me and they made me so happy to be a part of this mission the fact that i've dedicated my life to this um i have no regrets and i'm so grateful um and, and thankful to be here you know Oh, well, that's absolutely incredible, the work that you're doing, and I'm so grateful that you came here on Live in the Bay to tell your story. So thank you so much, Art, for everything you're doing and your inspiring story. Definitely, definitely. I really appreciate you having me, and thank you. Of course.